it's、um, Kyoto Protocol for us gave us the opportunity, the business opportunity, to actually do something positive for the environment, something measurable in terms of、uh, reducing greenhouse gas, and getting money for it. We saw this as、um, a sort of opportunity that where we can apply engineering、uh, expertise, manufacturing expertise, and obtain access to finance you know, from people like、uh, World Bank and ADB who are pushing the envelope with this kind of new carbon market. In in the early stages, actually, we we wanted to do power generation to start with, so it needed.、Uh, To secure a, a source of waste stream and source of power, buyer,、uh, buyer for power. Now I approached the electricity company, but、uh, the the set of criteria they wanted was very hard to fulfil. So power generation was what we wanted, but as it turned out, we met a, a consultant who worked for World Bank, and、uh, he suggested this opportunity. In、uh, waste management, where there's methane gas coming out, we have a build on transfer BOT business model concession、uh, from the local government. So our concession is only limited really to utilizing the methane gas that's contained in the landfill gas, and we make most of the investment, or all the investments rather. And、uh, we make the carbon credits from the landfill gas by flaring, and also making a bit of electricity for our own plants. And we sell the emission reduction、um, activities from the flaring and converting this methane into harm harmless、um, carbon dioxide and other emissions. We can claim this from the UN. And make climate change commodity called certified emission reduction. Once we have this certified emission reduction issued by the UN, the World Bank will transfer that, those credits to the end end user, who are the UN. So not the UN, but the European、uh, sovereign governments, the governments of Sweden, Spain, and Netherlands. So they are the buyers of the credits. So those governments、uh, will use those credits to offset their national emission target, which is、uh, required by the legal binding、uh, agreements in Kyoto. So we make these commodities、uh, from the landfill. The World Bank, ADB, they are the uh, uh, trustees and also managers of the project, project managers, and the products, the the world,、uh, the carbon credits, they go to the、uh, end users. Who are the EU governments? The city brings in around、uh, this site actually brings in、uh, between 400 and 500 ton a day of waste.、Uh, it's brought in. It's quite a small landfill. It's only about 16 hectare. Then they、uh, put it into what they call a cell、uh, and build it up. Probably it、uh, starts off about two meters below ground level, and then it'll go up as high as 25. In some cases, 30 meters. Above ground level, and then it is closed off、uh, with a capping, which is a soil. We'll, we'll put horizontal or vertical pipes into it, which are connected to our、uh, plant, which then can be either burnt,、uh, will destroy the、uh, methane in the gas,、uh, or we and also generate electricity. Get 21 tonne of methane equals one carbon, one tonne of carbon. We monitor what we take out of the landfill, and we monitor what we destroy. So the,、uh, what's going in and what actually is uh, is uh, the emission gases、uh, going out、uh, monitored.、And、we have about a 99% destruction rate on the、uh, greenhouse gases, methane. We were very aggressive. We built the plant. And it was ready for for running, you know, when when the World Bank actually was ready to sign the emission reduction purchase agreement、uh, six eight months later. So we have、uh, four sites. 
there in one East Bekasi, which is a very strategic, strategic uh, landfill just outside the capital. Uh, in north, in uh, South Sumatra, in Palembang, in South um, Sulawesi, in Makassar. And uh, Pontianak, it's, it's still there. And World Bank, ADB, they offer to, um, to pay for s some of the credits in advance. So that, um, that's worth uh, quite a bit of money. But the, the due, due, due diligence process uh, takes a long time. And we put our own money first uh, to make the investment first. And their money paid, some of their money will pay that later on. The local government get the benefit of us working there and improving the landfill operational practice. And we also agreed to share some of the carbon revenue for contributing towards uh, community development because there's a lot of uh, very poor people uh, who work in the landfill in very awful conditions. We are targeting really the scavengers that uh, eke starts living by collecting uh, plastics and, and metals from the waste. And they risk, by working on landfills, accidents, uh, physical contact with heavy, heavy equipment. So trying to provide them with uh, more safer environment uh, for them to, uh, to work on. And 7% goes towards that. And also some of the percentage goes to buy new trucks because another uh, problem for local governments is that they don't have enough uh, truck to collect the waste from their cities. And that gets dumped in a river or get burnt or they block up the, uh, the drainage systems and cause floods. So by providing more trucks, we also benefit because that will bring in more feedstock, uh, more solid waste into the landfill for us to make the carbon credits and power. The interesting thing is you become more involved with the local community. Uh, they'll come to you with their problems, but you also get invited to uh, participate in their celebrations, uh, like a wedding, um, and yeah, interesting, you turn up, you are the VIP guest. Uh, you actually sometimes become more important than uh, the bride and the groom. All the training is on the job. Uh, what we uh, try and do is work out which, which, which of them are capable of actually taking on more training. Um, What's been a pleasant surprise is they actually, uh, like, uh, some of them are like sponges where their minds are so open that it, they can absorb so much. A couple of them, scavengers now are actually site, site supervisors. Saya belajar uh, sama Mr. Kevin uh, sedikit sedikit uh, dikasih ilmu sedikit. Uh, akhirnya saya bisa running gas engine, running flare, uh, welding pipa, welding HDPE. Uh, done line line. Yeah. They can calibrate our instruments, they can operate our uh, gen set, 120 kilowatt gen set, and maintain it. They can do maintenance schedules, um, uh, maintenance on the flare, uh, they can do pumping, um, they can organise their own shifts. And they have uh, the ability to do systems analysis, which is something that I find quite interesting. They can actually look at a problem and uh, figure out a solution. Sometimes it's not the right one, but they'll actually have a look and try and fix it. They won't just stop and say, oh, I've got a problem, uh, which is, um, yeah, which is unique, actually, I've, I've found. We need a continuation of this uh, market mechanism and we need also for the, the body responsible at UN to, to make the process much more streamlined and efficient. It just takes too much time. You know, for small-scale private sector, it's, it's very difficult to wait for so long while this process of audits is it, carried out. So we need the public support to put the pressure on the UN to make things much more business-like. Although this is a partnership between local government and private sector, 
we as private sector is, is finding we have to do everything. You know, we are the one who have to come up with the money, with the people, with technology. And often their part, which is to, to collect enough waste, to deliver the waste to the right places in time, these are lacking. There's often not enough budget. In, uh, and the local governments complain, well, they, the, the general public don't pay tax. And therefore, they are limited in their power also to, to collect the waste and, and also repair the uh, infrastructure in the landfill. Now, we're getting a lot of help, actually, from the Public Works Department of Indonesia. So they are helping because they're supporting CDM project. But we need the backup of resources, of access to finance, access to transfer of technology. And this requires the public funding because the kind of money, the kind of return on investment is too, too low, really, for, um, for normal investors, normal private investors, or normal fund, you know, uh, capital funds, equity funds. They, they find the business, our business, not attractive yet. But we are the ones who have to, to start off with this kind of business. It's not going to be um, such an attractive return straight away, but in the long term. The benefit, the economic benefit, it's, 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 um, it's considerable.